Hi all, it's time for another Garage NFT system update. And I missed last week, so this is two weeks on from my major rearrange. As you can see, the bok choy has gone nuts, and the pak choy, it's smaller by nature, but it's also doing quite well. In here, this chili is taking up quite a lot of space. It's, get, it's starting to get crowded out by the, that's the new bok choy that I planted two weeks ago. Um, and the basil, that's the old basil. And we're harvesting bunches off that every weekend. And then those chilies along the back there. That one is quite small, I'm not sure what's going on with that. But if you look down here, you can see every week, last week, we got another ton of Asian greens off this lot and these have gone to flower so you can see this one's got flowers coming up here and that one quite pretty really uh, oh that one's showing signs I think I'm actually gonna cut these off this week and clear out this channel and plant some of those seeds that I planted two weeks ago in there is just some pak choy. You can see the basil's just starting to come up. Um, and one of the corianders, those other corianders haven't shot yet. I'm not sure what's going on there. There's one, of the, one out of the five basil hasn't shot yet. From memory last time the coriander took the longest. So we'll see, they might be showing signs next week. But those uh, pak choy are definitely ready to transfer into the system. So now, as promised, I'm gonna cut these bok choy out. We're gonna empty out this rail. Right, so now what we've got left is just the stumps and the roots in the channel. I might turn off the water to that rail and pull it out of there so we can have a look at the roots as we strip them out. Alright, so these bok choy and pak choy are the biggest root system of all. And now that we're pulling them out, we're going to have a look at them. But look how far they were hanging down into the... They are probably hanging all the way down into the reservoir there. Alright, so I'm going to cut the old stump off each of these. And then I'm going to pull the roots out in one piece. You can see how the roots of the pak choy, I think this one is, have grown through the bottom of these rock wall cubes and then they've just grown down and formed this thick mat of roots along the bottom of the NFT channel. Now I'll give this channel a clean out before I plant the next lot in there. So there's our harvest of uh, pak choy and bok choy and that's after weeks of pulling all the excess leaves off every week. These plants have been amazingly productive. These new bok choy that I've planted in the system here, they are four weeks old from planting the seed. So they were in propagation for two weeks and then they went into the system. They've been in the system for two weeks and they're almost, I'm almost gonna have to pull leaves off those just so they don't crowd my chilies. So this basil are the only original plants I've still got in the system and they are just going from strength to strength. Um, we cut bits off every weekend and they just grow back over the course of the next week. Uh, that one is ready to ha have a bit of a prune in that one as well. I've already taken some off this one this weekend and the end one over there. These chilies look to me like they're going great since I put them in the system two weeks ago. My next project is to actually extend the system upwards and get a more of a flowering and fruiting light. 
um, to go on the next layer up and then those chili rails can just be moved up a shelf. Now I'm just trying to do a rearrange here to try and figure out the optimal configuration for the chilies and the new bok choy and I'm stripping some of these inward facing leaves off these bok choy because I don't want them to overshadow my chilies. I'll get my empty rail in here. I'm going to take these little baby pak choy and see, you can see that root, it's hanging down enough so that it'll be touching the water when I stick it over in the system. I've only got six of these and there are eight holes, so I'm going to leave a couple empty, but they just slot in like that. And these are my own interpretation of a hucho style puck, but in this case, I'm not using it to hold a seedling. I'm using it to plug those empty holes just to stop light from penetrating into the channel. So there's the pak choy planted. I'll keep you up to date with how that grows. Uh, the chilies now have a lot more space. That one's huge. And hopefully in the next week or two, I can post about the NFT upward extension. Well done if you've made it this far. Hydroponics.